my parents, they, uh, they did not expect me to do this. That's for sure. I was definitely like the, you need a nine to five, you need mm-hmm. a pension, you need all this. And I was like, I'm going to be a TikTok. <laughs> Actually, first I was like, I'm going to quit university, be a hairdresser. And that just took them out to begin with. And they then when I did that. this, they were, they were like, just yes, like, please. do whatever you want. Like, what did care. they, what did they, did they ever push anything on you when you were, uh, when you were growing up? <laughs> hey mom, hey dad, just get off. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, for good reason. I understand their reasons. Like they didn't want me to get into drugs and all this stuff. So mm-hmm. they made me do every sport under the sun. And I ended up getting like a scholarship and all that kind of stuff. When I went to university, like I, I played soccer and everything. And then uh, like extra academia and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. And then obviously th- their expectation was that all of us, I had five siblings, but that we'd all get degrees and get good jobs and so on and so forth. And yeah. So when I decided to that, I didn't, I didn't know what the heck I was doing in university. And I just, I've always liked working for myself and doing stuff Mm -hmm. with myself and being an entrepreneur and all that kind of stuff. Like since I was 14, I've always had like two jobs and one of which was my own business. I was like cleaning houses to begin with. And then I was like, I did anything to just be my own boss because it's the best. Like I don't, I don't, and you just have, and then I was a hairdresser, but I worked for myself. So that was great. And then I did this and I'm like, cool, I'm working for myself again. Like this is going my way. Like this is great. (laughs) So it all kind of worked out in my favor. And now my parents, I can do the, I told you so to my parents, Mm -hmm. which is kind of fantastic. It's a great feeling. Was there, (laughs) was there a moment in college that, that was kind of like, your your breaking point yeah it was when i had to i did all of the um like extracurriculars that you had to do to get your major or minor or whatever and then i had to choose a major and i was like i did two years and i was like i have no idea mm-hmm. and I, I was just I, I was doing it to make my parents happy which what most of us do that and i i was going to be a teacher and i was like sure that could work. <laughs> you know, that's, you know that, that's what you want. But that's the thing that, that ideally you say to yourself when you go into right. a career for the rest of your life. I guess I could do I, this. I, I, that's what I think about. I'm like, my life is so short. Like, I feel like I'm not going to be like fulfilled with that. And I was like, I really like being creative and doing this kind of stuff. And I'm a sponge. I like when people talk to me. I don't really like talking to people as much. So mm-hmm. I was like, hairdressing is cool. Like I could try that. And I loved it. Like I, I, if all of this went to shit and I had to go back to hairdressing, that would be okay. Like, obviously this is ideal. <laughs> I love this, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, it just, I, I got to a point where I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I was also at a really low point in my life as well. Mm-hmm. And then I went traveling like everybody does. And then I came back and I was like, I'm going to be a hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> when you, when you traveled, where'd you go? I, I went by myself to uh, Southeast Asia mm-hmm. and I went to uh, like Vietnam and Thailand and Laos and, and uh, Cambodia and stuff and the Philippines. And I met really cool people. I think everybody should travel by themselves once mm-hmm. in their life if they can. I agree. Um, but yeah. And then I came back and I was like, you know what? Like, I just, I want to do what makes me happy. So that's what made me happy at the time. And yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. I love, I mean, I, I, I say, yeah, everyone should. I've never traveled by myself. I've always gone with my wife. She's the one that kind of like yeah. forces me to, but you saying that it reminded me, uh, even it was before we got married, but she was like, uh, my wife was like, or my girlfriend at the time was like, I, I kind of just want to travel. And I was like, yes, do it a thousand percent, especially by, by herself. Uh, I know she, when she did it by herself, she enjoyed it a lot more than when she went with a friend, not anything negative with a friend <laughs> but it's just you. <laughs> you get to be your own person like it's very yeah. it's very easy in a group to to like fit into a role rather than like it being about you 100 percent, yeah and i was with my boyfriend at the time right now we've almost been together for six years yeah. but we had only been together for a year and i was like so i'm gonna leave for like a month <laughs> it's not about you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly and he's like okay i think that's really good i think mm-hmm. that's really healthy and then i came back and i was like that was great and if he ever wants to go on a trip by himself i'll be like you go have fun like call me when you land like <laughs> i think that's really important in relationships and just for yeah your your own self journey <laughs> was there like a, a favorite favorite spot favorite moment from that yeah yeah it was gosh it was like five years ago now but I, I i went to vietnam which was probably my favorite place when i went there and i was in Halong bay and we did like a two-day boat trip and it was just like it was like you were an avatar like it was crazy there's just all these cool mountains in the water you felt like you were on the sky it was 
it was really cool. And that's like the time where I was really by myself. Like I made friends along the way, mm -hmm. but then I did that by myself. And it was, uh, yeah, it was really cool. We did like yoga on top of the boat and on top of like a mountain. It was great. It is. It, was it spiritual. is. Yeah. I was going to say, it is interesting <laughs> that like us just experience the experiencing the planet as it can naturally be without us astroturfing it, that it, exactly. it can be such a, it, it, even like, uh, okay. So I don't believe in like any of the <laughs> energy bullshit and stuff like that but there is something either. i inherently get from like if i'm doing a hike or even just in my own backyard now because i'm very fortunate enough to actually have like about an acre right now to to nice. go shoeless in the grass and just feel like i'm not yeah. i'm not in this thing that was <laughs> destroyed by man and made for me it's right granted it could be uh I had that thought when I was, I was very, very high at one moment and I was doing that, but it's always <laughs> yes. stuck with me. It's always stuck with me. <laughs> and that's okay. You got to have those moments. You know, I live in the middle of a forest now, so I totally get what you're saying mm -hmm. on about an acre. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's very, I think everybody, if they can, should have some sort of nature in their life. I need it personally. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not a big city person. I could never live in the middle of a city or anything. And that's probably because I come from a little farm town, but, um, yeah, that's really, that's really important to me. Where are you, where are you originally from? <laughs> I'm from, uh, Abbotsford, British Columbia. Okay. And I'm, I literally only live like 25 minutes away from there right now. And I'll probably move back there, at least get a house there just for a homestead. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just like, it's known as like a pit stop town. Okay. <laughs> It's like you stop there for gas and McDonald's and you keep moving. So just a lot of farmland and it's great though. I like it. It's not busy. It's not loud. If I go mm. into like Vancouver, which I'm sure, you know, Vancouver, yeah. it's just, it gives me anxiety. Like I cry every time I drive there because there's one way streets <laughs> and I'm the idiot always going down that one way street doing an eight point turn to turn around. So yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, the, the peaceful thing is it's some, it's something that uh, someone I hate now, but it's very true, uh, said to me when I lived in North Carolina, they're like, you're going to miss how peaceful this is. And Grant, yeah. it was at a time where it was like lucky if I could connect to the internet, like dating myself, 56 K modem, like flip cell phone, <laughs> like horrible reception. And I was like, yes. I would never miss this. And I don't miss <laughs> being disconnected from the world, but I do, I do hundred percent miss the ability to put it down and just like sit down and, 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 just hear nothing, hear yeah. nothing. Cause see stars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Cause you're in LA, right? Yeah. And I, uh, <laughs> unlike a lot of people doing the, uh, I'm moving out of California thing. I, I think I'm going to stay here unless we elect Caitlyn Jenner as our governor. <laughs> then I'm out. <laughs> then, then I'm like, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> California is doing. Yeah. And it's, it's that's a thing. I did not. Oh, did well, not apparently, know yeah. There are reports that like, uh, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to say not, I haven't looked too far into it cause it just, the, the prospect <laughs> fucking annoys me. Uh, yeah. but, uh, yeah, apparently like, uh, she's, she's looking into it, uh, may or may not have like Brad Parscale who helped with the Trump campaign, helping her in an un unofficial unpaid manner. Once again, early reporting. If it's yeah. true though, uh, I just, she's a, as far as her stances, very yeah. flip floppy and I don't agree with a lot of stuff and, uh. I don't know. <laughs> like, and also <laughs> she she may or may not. I have to look at like uh she may have killed somebody. So there's that. <laughs> I, ideally that's not right. someone. I can't wait for that anyway, episode cuz <laughs> I'm just very randomly angry about Caitlyn Jenner. 